Okay, today is December 30th. These videos take place um, between the 7th and 8th of December. So they're almost a month old. As usual, um, I talk about this cursed hair not being mine. Um, this is not my natural grade of hair. This is a cursed head of hair that um, the government decided to apply as a mockery. Um, up until my mother, even she had a decent hair head, head of hair at first, but not like her mother's. All the women in my bloodline had... Um, I hate to call it, um, they have long, I'm talking about hair down their back, curly or straight patterns. Um, that's our hair. Um, the mockery that's been made is that they put it on every other race. So I told you we're the, um, original womb women. Those women to which Dominion belongs. And um, I'm the Holy Spirit. Nothing takes place here on earth without our approval. And the um, way that they that Satanists have been able to get around that is by possessing my women. What makes me different is I um, I'm the Holy Spirit, which means that I ha there's a they are not able to possess me. They're using remote neural monitoring right now to keep me from talking. But they're, they're not able to possess me. I have a spirit that cannot be changed. And I'm able to recall when memories are removed. So what I say matters. Whereas in the past, you know, they've possessed my women and solicited um, responses. That's how permission has been falsified in the past. A lot of things that's taken place as far as crime and um, advancements and, you know, the evolution of white people with eugenics, not just white people, but created races with eugenics has all been falsified um, behind the false thoughts and um, verbiage that they've solicited by having complete control over the mind and body of my women. And I'm where it stops. I'm where eugenics ends. Um, my coming entails the extermination of government agencies and ultimately um, restoring souls and my offspring's kingdom. The regular fight has been going on two and a half years. There's times when they change my hair texture completely. Um, sometimes it'll it'll grow, become soft, um, straight, and manageable. I don't get perms. I don't do perms. Um, but I stopped recently. I, I think my last one was like a year ago and I was having them a year apart. Um, but they changed the texture. Um, and sometimes, like I said, it's soft and it's manageable. And then other times they were making it extremely hard and brittle. Like you couldn't put a comb through it. Now what I just did was I softly combed like over and over again out oh, anyone who's ever taken her hair down has seen this happen this is not supposed to ever happen that's a matter of physics that's a sign that your hair is being attacked remotely imagine having to record taking your hair down and doing your hair in general to minimize the attacks. If I weren't recording what I'm doing to my hair, you know, have the camera ready to go, the damage would be that much greater. When I woke up this morning, I was missing more melanin from my thighs, which means that I have I wonder if you can detect it with this. These, can you see that? Like fine white lines from where it's being extracted. You can't really let's see the focus. I have other pictures of it. I've annotated it annotated it in a couple other places but anyhow I woke up and I was missing melanin melanin is all about energy and they prefer to take it from the muscle because it it has um 
like a greater burst, a, get, a greater compo composition of it. Um, <sighs> melanin, fat injections. Um, most people will recognize that the government is attacking the nervous system, but they won't recognize that the government is attacking the lymphatic system. Um, and that's by way of fat injections. Like they administer fat right into the lymphatic system and it just, it has a quick, fast um, manifestation. So as quick as they put it on, you weigh yourself and it's there. As quick as they take it off, you weigh yourself and it's gone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be going over a few things. I, I guess I'm just going to recap some of my content as I take my hair down. That's something I don't normally do. I always talk about different topics and different stuff. And normally I regress a little bit and talk about the past. Okay, things that I'm experiencing right now. They're pinching the nerve. Like they, they pinch the nerve. If you've ever had a pinched nerve, it's the government. Um, what was I going to say? They're fatiguing my neck. So it's like the constant sought for relief. Um, my back near the spine, they're attacking my back. And um, applying a lot of tension there that creates a lot of pain. Okay, it's been an hour and a half now and I'm still working on taking my hair down. I have quite a few braids to go. I haven't made any progress. In fact, I've only taken down two. I need you to understand something that when physics is, a, is in the wrong hands, um, a simple task, like taking down a braid, can take hours. I'm talking about you can run your fingers gently over or forcefully over the same braid over and over again, and it never moves. That's physics. Um, physics is how you make or break a world. Um, it's the ability to create something, create something out of nothing. It, it's the ability to change matter. So something hard as wood you can make soft as something soft. We'll say a cushion and then something soft as a cushion or a pillow they can make hard as a rock like I talk a lot about not a lot but I've mentioned it on more than one occasion how they make my pillows hard to keep me from sleeping and resting comfortably um, one more thing that's necessary to know that I really wanted to hone in on the braid the braid itself um, you normally take a braid down by you know like a, a rolling motion you know and it gets the hair to the three parts to separate you know but you roll what they're doing is they're keeping the hair still so it's like it won't roll so i have to repeat that over and over and over and over and over and over again um before making any progress whereas it should be quick you know to take down a braid is quick it's been Two hours, I have half my hair done. Okay, as I said, we're the owners of the land, dominion, it's origin. Um, so this issue, this matter, it stretches far beyond the U.S. And now you know why every nation has supercomputers. It's so that created races can feed off of Africans. As you can imagine, I've lost a lot behind this fight um they they were killing my relatives because they aren't able to kill me like everything belongs to me all these things conveniently took place before i could move forward with becoming sovereign so when i moved at the beginning of 2017 to california I was right in their stomping ground. I'm right there, um, kind of back and forth a little bit. Area 51 is in Nevada. That's where the aliens that run the government are. And um, yeah, it was, it was just, um, they had to run into me before I ran into them because when they look, I told you they have future predictor and technology. 
Every path of mine aligns. Every path of mine aligns with my purpose. So they decided to attack. Have you heard the new song on 107.9? Christ-like, the latest mockery. Anyhow, I'm doing my hair right now. And um, I made this video because as I'm taking the braids down, I made sure I moisturized it um, a few days ago so that um, it'd be tangle-free. First of all, hair doesn't tangle on it. Um, anyone who thinks that it does, you're being extremely misled. Um, I started at 420, it's 440 now, and I'm still on the same braid. Um, what they did was, after I took it down, took the back of the braid down, I should have been able to run my fingers through it like I'm doing right now. Um, they tangled it right away. And when they tangle it, they put it in some sort of a knot. This is what they're able to do with physics. You can't even feel it being done. You just come across it. I made a video um, about this. And I don't think I got to um, add the end of it. It was at the end of Divine Disclosure Part 5 or 6 um, when I was taking my hair down last. So, like always, I'm going to document this, this little hair thing. I, my intent is to do this all in one day. Hey, it's 3 hours and 20 minutes in and I still have 4 braids to go. This one I didn't count because it's braiding into this one. This is ridiculous. It's never taken this long ever for me to take my hair down. Okay, it is 9.35. It's been five hours and I'm on the last braid. This is the last braid. Imagine that. Five hours and 15 minutes to take your hair down. And I'm not done, so it'll probably be another, you know, telling how many minutes until I take this out. But it was really detailed. It took me 13 hours to put this in. Um, as I said, I was going to talk about some more stuff. Something that they do ever so often is they take what I'm writing with or either they take my eraser and then they drop it right back in my lap. Magic tricks. Pisses me off though. Okay, so I believe I talked about um, going sovereign. And then we kind of um, falling, you know, relocating and them attacking me. Um, I told you we're the earthly representatives and our bloodline must always exist. Like there's no way that anyone could occupy the planet um, without our bloodline existing. But it's, it's kind of a catch-21 too because aliens are in violation by occupying the planet. And that's a direct reflection of demon possession. I have a problem with everything. But my offspring is the only thing that can supersede me. Just same as my mother. I'm the only thing that can supersede her. Um, so that's where their um, demand for a baby was coming from. And I told you I had an officer, a doctor, and a judge conspire against me all. Well, two lied on me and one allowed the lie to carry on and um, judged in favor of the doctor because of um, eugenics. You know, like um, that's something that they can't move against because it is... It, um, Oh man, remote neural monitoring, they're jamming my thoughts. Anyhow, they conspired against me to label me mentally ill. And you know how that goes. Um, if I were to have a child and it fell into the hands of the state, you know, there, there'd be all types of crimes orchestrated on top of all the crimes that have been orchestrated this far in order for them to get their hands on that child. Because once they have it, they wouldn't need me. Or they'd be okay with getting rid of me, rather. Okay, so I had about an inch and a half new growth. Um, how it's been, this is the only strand that's still there. I can't bear to pull it out. My head is tender. Um, but this is what they've been doing. Um, every time my hair grows out, they shrink it. Like, um, 
It's like none of the growth is applied. A couple things takes place. Once I wash and have to comb through this and comb it out, um, I avoided combing through the braids. Like, you know, sometimes you hold the braid and just kind of comb the hair out that way because it thins the hair out. When I use that method, they're shredding my hair, like just the whole time. So it thins it out. Um, and it, yeah, it shortens it too. So you'll see when I'm done. I want to show you this fright. Maybe I should turn the camera around. This is all tangled. That means it is going to be a lot of work. Okay, um, something that I wanted to tell is that um, they noted that they were going to be pretty much tangling and tearing my hair in any way that they can. They show images of it while I was taking it down. I didn't mention it um, during that time, and I just wanted to note it now. My hair is extremely tangled, and you can imagine um, a lot like the taking down process. I wouldn't, I don't do anything that I would normally do if my hair was healthy. So that means while washing it, it's not like this sort of thing. I keep, um, I do it in parts, like um, not sections, but you know, and I just kind of massage it in, and I'll scratch, and you know, make sure I get lift anything that's there and still it's like horrible in here I wish I could show a better picture of how tangled it is the females did it I mean said that they did it to my hair because I'm telling people that pretty much me and my mother are going to be the only one with our DNA that no one else has any business having on them I'm telling you these Satanists are a trip and I'm beyond pissed right now. This is ridiculous labor. It hurts extremely bad right now. And it's really, really, really hard to comb through this. Um, and it takes a lot of patience. My head is sore. It hurts. And if I didn't have, if this wasn't such a long process to begin with, I just like wait. I just give it a few days. But you cannot leave your hair in knots like this. But furthermore, consider um, the statement that she made about why they're doing this to my head. About them being mad because I'm telling others. You know, like, this is not new information. This is information that's been repeated on more than one occasion. Or reiterated on more than one occasion. In my videos, that just goes to show no one's watching them. The people that they are having, like the... um. The agents that they're sending in that direction, they tell them to watch. Which movie to watch specifically and how much of it to watch. And the nature of the conversation, the comment that they want them to make. So these are not um, entities that are um, like, you know, being well informed and f making um a valid statement or anything. These are just people or things, robots, doing what they're told. I hope this stays put. They kept knocking it off. Okay, so look, I was gonna um, go into a detailed discussion about some of the things that I've covered in the past, but I figured that it probably made more sense for me to just do what I've done in the past. Like um, in the past, when I was working on my complaint, I kinda, um, and doing a video at the same time, I will always kinda put parts of the complaint 
in the um, video. Just to provide you inside and show where I was at with it. As far as the complaint goes, it's online already. Like you can find it um, on my Facebook page and on YouTube. The link is everywhere. It's on five or six videos, more like seven or eight videos. And um, it's also on the About page. So um, the link to the complaint, it was written to six agencies, addressed to six agencies. They had it for. It'll be four weeks on Tuesday. Today's the 8th of December. Sunday. So, Tuesday the 10th. It'll be um, four weeks. So, um, just to go over it real quick. Ouch. Um... It starts with, there's a table of contents, and then there's I'm Crisis Mother, and the two factors that um, determine the two deciding factors, and that's DNA and design. And I go into what that means. Um, me being who I am means that, you know, the government can be who they are, and um, there will be no alien activity on Earth. There's a whole lot. They're pushing me. They keep pushing me. Um... Then I have revelations. My revelations surround demon possession, eugenics, created races, and computers. Um, I talk about souls, what it means to have one. And um, that actually leads into some common knowledge type things. Um, you know, there was a lot of things that once upon a time people were aware of, um, like, let me see what a couple are. Like um, the Caucasian race being set to rule over other races for a set amount of time. I think it was like 6,000 years or something like that. Um, and that time was up around 1940-something. 1940-something. That date doesn't sound right. Um, anyhow, that date was up a long time ago. Maybe it was 1741. Anyhow, I can't pinpoint it right now. I, I'm seeing too many numbers um i go into some myths and lies more details about eugenics and demon possession humbugs you know evil deceitful spirits things that they do um how they surface and culverts um, the technology that's being used, you know, what creates the matrix and DNA being digital and um, supercomputers. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go into that. I want to talk so bad about all these topics. Hmm. So, remote neuro monitoring, um, things that will take place in the absence of eugenics. The rebuttal, the only rebuttal that created races should have is... Let's see how we are without eugenics, you know, supercomputers that create the matrix. That's the only rebuttal they should have. Um, if they have a rebuttal. Like I said, this will be in this video right after this. Okay, this is how much came out after me. Um, this is ridiculous after me calming it out. This is everything. Taking it down, washing it condition. Total. Who could deal with that sort of pair loss? I should be in tears right now. This is the same shit has been happening for two and a half years. Over and over and over again.
Okay, it's 2.50. I'm about to start the braid pattern. Okay, something that always happens is while I'm doing this, they see the outcome before I'm done. So they always comment. There's always commentary surrounding the outcome. It's about five minutes. It's been an hour and five minutes. Okay, it took one hour and 50 minutes. Um, if you pay attention to my old videos of me showing my hair, you can tell that um, they're starting to darken my neck. And that's because I take pride in it always being clean and those things that I take pride in, they try to um, change the way that I feel about them. And the way that you alter or the way someone feels about something is by destroying it. This is how much hair came out from the braiding process. Okay, so I'm three hours and 40 minutes in, and I just have a little bit more to go. Like one, two, and then maybe three braids in the back. Um, the reason that it's not taking as long is because of the type of packs of hair that I had left. Um, the other hair that I'm going to use on the center, so I did like a micro pattern. I'm still kind of doing them small at the top, but not in the back. In the back, they're kind of big. Um, but yeah, this hair itself, it just takes up a lot of space. The way that it spreads, it's hard to explain. But anyhow, it cuts the time way down. Okay, so this is not going to stay. I'm done. It took five hours. Five hours and 15 minutes. Okay, I actually had a video on this. Um, there we go. I had a video on this. Um, it's about Firestone Mini Mart. And what happened was, as they were attacking my hair, I hadn't been to Firestone Mini Mart 
since October 30th. It's December 30th now. That's two months ago. Um, a little over a month and a half at the time when I went. So, um, it's all about mocking, you know, um, I was talking about in that video how, you know, they, um, showed up on the one female and they used the same shampoo as me. They got mad because I didn't compliment and they also got mad because I didn't, um, I didn't compliment and I didn't have an internal dialogue about it. You know, I just took notice. And when they probed, I wouldn't entertain it. She, that day we spoke about hair nets. She was saying she needed a big one for all the hair that she had. And I told her exactly where she could get it and how much it cost. Um, they got mad about that, so they looked around and they showed up on the other female that who her and I don't have. Um, you know, our exchange is much more dry. So they showed up on her. Um, with the intent to insult when they showed up on the redhead um, like I said I hadn't been there in over almost two months I was it was approaching two months at that time um, when I showed up they grew her hair out of whole foot as they were attacking my hair they grew her hair out of whole foot and um, so that it draped now drapes over the shoulder um, it looked uncomfortable and surprised to see me and you'll probably see like more on this um, you know the real take on it I'm just kind of paraphrasing right now um, but yeah that's what happened